Golf is hard, so I think it's important to add little challenges for yourself along the way to getting better. Inspired by the Bryan Brothers Golf Breaking 60 series, I thought I would take on the challenge of breaking 80 at my home course, the Trails of Frisco. I'll start with the red forward tees and work my way back until I've broken 80 from all the tee boxes. I thought this would be easy. Let's see how it goes. Hole number one is about as generous a fairway as you're going to get at the trails, so I'm definitely swinging driver here. I'm so used to playing this course from the other tees, so it's a little weird to be in the front side bunker after the second shot, but I managed to get it out the first time. Two is the number one handicap, and I have the rare opportunity from this distance to hit driver. Unfortunately, I don't carry the creek, and so I choose to lay up, take my medicine with my third shot. This is a decent approach shot, but I just don't have the distance, even with my five wood here. Leave it on the front side. With a decent up and down from that spot, I could have saved double bogey. It's just too much ground to cover on the greens. Hole three is a fairly easy par three now that from the red tees there's no hazard to cover. As you can see, the greens were recently punched, making putting a little extra challenging today, but I managed to clean up for par there. Swing in five wood here. It's a short par four, dog leg right, with a tough hazard right in front of the green, and the green itself is kind of skinny, so it's a challenging hole still, I think. I find the thick rough just short of the bunker and try to muscle one up there with an iron. Just missing what would have been a great up and down. Hole five plays a lot like hole four, especially from the red tees. Just get the ball over the fairway bunker and you'll be looking at a reasonable approach over another hazard. Quick shout out to Golf Sidekick sporting one of my what a play up polos today surely it will help produce a few birdies hole six is a pretty straightforward par three if you've ever played the trails you know sort of the feeling you have here of feeling kind of beat up on the first five holes and looking for a little relief which you do get on these next few holes it's just nice hole seven is a short par five with a split fairway i barely avoid the hazard off the tee and have to use my five iron with sort of a baseball grip to get it back out in the fairway. Miss it. The bunkers aren't in the best condition here, so it's always good to get out of them the first time, even if I didn't hit the green. Looking back on this hole, I think it was that errant tee shot that just sort of got my head out of this hole. Um, so I just played it poorly the rest of the way through. All right, let's see if we can get back on track. This is a good opportunity. It's a par four, it's only 200 yards from the reds. I choose five wood just to kind of stay out of trouble. Get it on the green in two. Managed to make par here, which feels good. Hole nine has some teeth to it. I try to land my tee shot at the 150 rocks and let the ball roll out. I managed to get on the green in regulation here. It's a rare for me. But I choose this opportunity to make my first three putt of the day. All right, I scored a seven over 43 on the front. But if you saw my last video, you know I'm not about to give up on this round. I can definitely still do this. Hole 10 is a skinny par 5 that, if navigated carefully, can produce a lot of birdies. I put myself in position to do just that with the approach. Hole 11 should play pretty easy. Just ignore that water.
Hard to ignore that thunder, though. And hard to ignore my weak effort on the up. Another missed up and down opportunity, which if you're going to break 80, you got to have several of those. Hole 12 is another tough par 4 hole that I usually play as a par 5 in my mind. I'm hitting 5 wood here, fully committing to that. The approach is just one of the toughest on the course. If you don't hit the short left side of the green, you're in danger of running it off into the bunker, or in my case on the right side, almost into the water. Check out the movement on this putt. This thing's playing like a plinko board. Hole 13 is a short par 4. And for the first time in my golf experiences, I drive a green and set myself up for an eagle putt. That one really never had a chance, but I did set myself up for an easy birdie. All right, I'm still in this thing. Or not. Hole 14 is a long par 4 with a big hazard carry. For my third shot, I do manage to put it close. But still leave with a double. With four holes left, I'm feeling like my chances are slipping away here. But let's keep grinding. If you're going to miss on this hole, do it on your approach and keep it short. Perfect layup. It's obvious I need to spend a little more time with that 56 wedge, getting those ups a little closer to the hole. Hole 16 is another par 3, kind of short, with a little bit of a water carry. I managed to put it decently close and give myself a chance at birdie here, just missing it. That would have been a good one to have. But I'm still within striking distance. Let's see what I can do in the last two holes. Hole 16 is another challenging par 4, forces you to play a short tee ball, then gives you a long approach over two hazards. I told you this course was hard. But again, my 56 degree needs some work as I'm leaving these wedges too far away from the hole. That thunderclap signals the end to my chances of breaking 80 today. I end up with a nasty triple bogey on this last hole, giving me an 86 on the day. That certainly feels like a long way from 80, but fortunately I know where I lost my strokes. A couple of poor decisions off the tee given the new tee boxes, and definitely some work to do with the 56 degree wedge to get me more up and down opportunities. In my next video, I go low at another course, a much easier course that I like to play at. Be sure to subscribe so you can follow my journey to becoming a single digit handicapper. And don't worry, I haven't given up on this course yet. I'll be back with another video here at the trail soon. Thanks for watching. Always remember, stay in it. Every shot matters.